Hi, let's solve one previous question of HTT compiler. This question was asked in GATE CS 2021 set 1 question number 26. Consider the following grammar that admit is series of declaration followed by expression and the associated syntax directed translation HTT action given as pseudocode. This is the grammar with HTT. With respect to evoke grammar, which one of the following choice is correct? and four options are given. For solving this question, you should have knowledge about HTT, how HTT work. Let me first analyze this grammar with semantic action, then I will check the options. First production, P derive, D clean closure, E clean closure. It will generate any number of D followed by any number of E. And you can see D is deriving int ID, D is deriving bool ID. So from D, we can derive either data type integer or data type bool. Here you can see it will generate a series of declaration followed by expression. So this D will generate series of declaration while this E will generate expression. The next production D derive int id record that id dot like gym is of type int means this id data type is int. Next, D derive bool id record that id dot like gym is of type bool means this id data type is boolean. Next, E derive e1 plus e2 check that e1 type equal to e2 type equal to int. So check that both e1 data type and e2 data type equal to int. Then set e type equal to int. If both data type equal to int, then set e data type equal to int. Next production e drive negation e1. Check that e1 type equal to bool. If e1 type equal to bool, then set e type also boolean. If e1 data type is boolean, then set e data type is also boolean. Next production e drive id set e type equal to integer here set this e data type equal to integer you can see from d we can derive integer and boolean data type but from e when we are generating id id can only be integer so we can do arithmetic operation only on integer you can see this statement e1 type equal to integer e2 type equal to integer then set e type equal to integer means we can do addition only on integer not on boolean suppose you want to evaluate a plus b so this a is for id and this b is for id so this id should be integer this id should be integer then only you can do the addition this id can only be integer it cannot be boolean and here you can see you can do arithmetic operation only on integer this d will generate integer data type plus boolean data type but this e will do only addition on integer not on boolean let's check the option option a the action can be used to correctly type check any syntactic correct program this is wrong it will not check any syntactically correct program next option b the action can be used to type check syntactically correct integer variable declaration and integer expression this is correct it will check syntactically correct integer variable as id can be only integer and integer expression integer expression from this this e will generate addition expression and this e will generate id and that id can only be integer so the action can be used to type check syntactically correct integer variable from this we can only generate integer variable declaration and integer expression so option b is correct next option c the action can be used to type check syntactically correct boolean variable declaration and boolean expression this is wrong as here we are generating integer okay integer variable declaration and we are doing integer arithmetic operation so option c is wrong next option d the action will lead to infinite loop no this will not lead to infinite loop it is simply declaration followed by expression there is nothing that it will create infinite loop so this is false we found option a is wrong option c is wrong option d is wrong 
only option B is correct. So answer will be option B. The action can be used to type check syntactical correct integer variable declaration and integer expression. For solving this question, you should have knowledge about HTT. I already discussed HTT with example. Just go through my lecture. You can easily solve this question. If this lecture is helpful for you, please like and subscribe. Thank you.